Well, hello, my joyful subbies. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Joy Fuller, the chief crafter for the Joyful Designs brand, here to bring you another DIY. So if DIYs on a budget is what you're looking for, then keep watching. And as always, it's time to craft. Let's go. Let's go, guys. As promised, here's the DIY. Just a day late. Anyway... So as you can see, I have these knives that I kind of spread out in the, you know, the image of the sun rays. Now this is in my head, so follow me guys. And then I have this wood piece that I purchased from Michaels and I am using that as the center to cover up that hole. However, I will need to put down um, a piece of cardboard so that the wood will have something to attach itself to and then once that happens you see I've already wrapped this piece of wood in some jute rope because you know I like my projects rustic and nothing screams rustic than jute rope this jute rope did come from the Dollar Tree and all I did was just again just wrap this whole piece of wood with the rope I decided to dress this up a little bit by adding some of those florals that you can pick from, pick up from the Dollar Tree and just glue, glue down the one um, petal upside down, added a rope to it and then we moving on to DIY number two. Now Michaels had these cans um, that you get during the holidays like Christmas time and so I have a lot of these I always buy um, the items when they're like 70 80 90 percent discounted and then I would just store them so I decided to use this can and I painted it in some of that home decor paint in the color ivory and of course I'm going to distress it using some of that burnt umber paint because we're going to make a lemon tree out of this I do have a real branch from outdoors. I added some of those little hanging floors or, or stems that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree, tie them on this stick just to give it an illusion of a tree um, because I could only find two of those long stem lemon um, stems because I think Melinda with Ivy Dog has bought them all guys. I am convinced and so if you want to see some great lemon projects please head on over to Ivy Dawd and check out her channel. Hi Melinda and I had said I was going to jump on this lemon decor projects for this um, season and here you guys go. And so as you can see I've distressed it, I've added all the floors I wanted to add to it. I added some onion grass, some of that green moss that I picked up from um, Michaels and then I used the um, sisal rope that I picked up from one of the thrift stores to make a bow out of. Now we're headed to DIY number three and Dollar Tree sells these plastic lemon bowls. I thought these were really pretty. This bowl was pretty and then they had these little stems of lemons so instead of adding them as part of the tree I decided to create a floral arrangement using the lemons as the focal point and I tell you guys this turned out cute and then I'm just adding you'll see just different yellow and white florals that I picked up from the Dollar Tree to kind of finish this project off and it's Spanish moss created my jute twine bow to put on the front of it and guys that's going to really be it for this project I think this turned out cute I cannot wait for you guys to see how this turns well the actual look of it in the reveal I did decide to use some clothes pins as the, the legs of this piece and moving on to DIY number four I have these planters here they were white you can purchase these at the Dollar Tree um, it was getting late last night and that's why I didn't have the video up because I just ideas just kept rolling in my head so I just kept crafting 
until I got tired because I have I had a 7:30 a.m. hair appointment this morning, so I had to eventually get some sleep. Anyway, more information that y'all probably don't even care about, but I um, decided to go ahead and um, add a distress coat of the burnt umber paint that you could purchase from Walmart. It is an apple barrel paint. Then I dabbed just dabbed in a circular motion um, some of that home decor um, paint in the color ivory. I just dabbed it all over that um, on top of the burnt umber paint, dried it, and then you'll see me go back and add some distressing to it using that burnt umber paint. And here, here it goes. You see, I'm a little ahead of the video, guys. But that's okay. Um, when you're doing voiceovers and you're trying to remember what you've done and keep up with the, the clip, sometimes you get a little ahead or sometimes you be behind. But that's okay. That's okay. You guys are here to support Joy and to see what I've come up with. So because Dollar Tree didn't have any more lemons, I decided to use these tangerines, tangerines, oranges, whatever you want to call them. And so I'm just doing the same thing. Just I distressed the, the planters and then I added these oranges to the peas. Then you'll see me stuff it so that I don't have to use a lot of this, um, the moss. And I am just sticking it down on the inside using some of the Dollar Tree bags. And if you shop at Dollar Tree like I've shopped at Dollar Tree in the past, you have a lot of these suckers. And so I am, as you can see, just adding the moss to the planters. And then as I kept looking at it and talking with my daughter, I kept adding to it. So I ended up wanting to dress this up a little bit and give it more character. And I added some of that beautiful lace that you can find at the Dollar Tree. And then you know I am going to add a jute twine bow. Now a lot of people don't like the bows on their projects. And that is totally fine. But you have the option of just... This is just an idea. You can take this and run with it and create your project to suit your home decor style. And again, as you can see, I am just going to just add this beautiful ribbon to the center, add a jute twine bow on the corners of it where they gather, and that's going to complete this project as well. Guys, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you when I upload anything, I mean anything, to my channel. And also, I want to welcome all of my new subscribers to my channel. Welcome guys and to my returning subscribers, what's up? And so as we move on to DIY number 5, I decided to take these very cute lemon glass glasses. And as you can see, I'm adding some of those clear rocks that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Some people call them aquarium rocks. I just call them clear rocks. Okay? We on the rocks here. And so as you can see, I am a succulent person. I love planters. I love succulents. And that's exactly what I did. I topped the tops off with succulents. And for our last DIY in this video, guys, I gave you six. And that was one for each day this week. And we're finishing it off. And this is so simple. You see this beautiful bag right here? I purchased this bag from the Dollar Tree. And actually, I may have gotten it from Dollar General. I'm not sure. Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Anyway, I just cut out the piece of bag to fit the frame. Put it on the inside put all the stuffing back inside of it and there you have it for both of these projects and I did end up distressing the outside of the frame using that home decor paint in the color ivory guys 
again if you have yet to subscribe to my channel please make sure you click on that subscribe button and don't forget about the notification bell and also guys we're getting ready to head into the reveal as you can see now here's the big reveal here is my son that was in my head and i think it turned out cute um that's all i'm gonna say about it it's cute and here are my lemon trees and then like i said i added some real branches and just tied some of that hanging um stems to it and i think this turned out very cute I love it I think it's cute but I will say that my favorite of tonight is this one right here this will be the second DIY the lemon bowl the lemon floor is cute <laughs> and moving right along I have these beautiful succulents in this lemon glass with the frog sitting by the sides and just chilling they're chilling I mean <laughs> they're chilling that's all I can say cute to cute and then as you can see I had a little space to finish styling but there are those cute little frames with the picture of the oranges and the lemons and all the greenery to tie everything together I think this turned out great guys thank you for watching this video all the way to the end i cannot stress enough that i appreciate you guys and until the next video be blessed and don't forget to subscribe to the channel bye now